See the Geek, and is going to ask some people some questions about John Bon Jovi's long hair. So let's have a look. Vanessa, are you there outside the Astoria in London? Yes, Ray, you join us live outside the Astoria Theatre in London, and let me tell you, it is total chaos here, and uh, all this bedlam behind me has been caused by perhaps one of the best-kept secrets of rock and roll in recent months. Bon Jovi are playing a secret a gig here at the Astoria Theatre in London tonight. Now, why is this such a big occasion? Well, Bon Jovi last played the UK more than three years ago. They headlined at the Milton Keynes Bowl in August 1989. Now, they've been away from the scene since then, but we all know they're back with a new album. It's called Keep the Faith. Now, they did schedule a secret gig at Ronnie Scott's club, but that was leaked to the press, so they had to cancel it. What did they do? They made another date here at the Astoria Theatre in London, but this time it really was a very well-kept secret. Now, the fans only found out about it this morning on national radio, and of course, you can guess what happened. Scores of fans came down here to buy tickets. It was sold out almost immediately. Now, if you're not here tonight, don't worry, because Bon Jovi will be back for a full arena tour in the UK in January or so of next year. They're also going to be on MTV News tomorrow with more action from the gig here tonight. And, of course, they're going to be performing live on Ray's Most Wanted on Friday. But uh, I know you've got a poll going on there in the studio, and uh, we're going to find out what some of the fans here think about Mr. John Bon Jovi's haircut. Can I ask you something? Do you like Bon Jovi's new haircut? Yeah. <laughs> so there, we've got a yes there. Anybody here that doesn't like uh, John Bon Jovi? What? We, th we think he looks cool, but we've, he's, his long hair was really sort of excellent, and he shouldn't have cut it off. Yeah. It's I'm trying to be too much like you too, to try to change and not be as rocky I'm, as normal. I'm very pleased because my girlfriend's going to stay with me instead of going with him now, OK? <laughs> OK, there you go. Some people in favour of his haircut, some people not so right. pleased. Thank you very much. OK, Ray, uh, let's hand, up, hand back to you in the studio right now and uh, I'll be interested to see how your poll goes with the viewers out there in Europe. Bye-bye from the Astoria Theatre in London. Well, live via satellite link up. Thank you very much, Vanessa Warwick. Out, outside the uh, Astoria Hotel, uh, Astoria Geek in London. Uh, there we go, live via satellite link up. You can always believe everything you see on television. This is a crap show, isn't it? Excrement. Now, anyway, um, the next uh, thing we're going to talk. I tell you what, if I would have been that person, if I would have been Vanessa walking on, I, would, I know what I would have asked that girl. I wouldn't have asked her about uh, John Bon Jovi's haircut. I would have said, hello, love. Want to see my trouser snake? Oh. Been saving that joke for years, and it's well worth it too. So, Craig, are you all right there? Yeah, a bit tired, Ray. Bit tired, Ray. Oh dear. So we have to be um, up to work on this show. And remember, it is crap. Eric's come on. Now, coming up next, we'll have. I'm just trying to remember. We will have. The John Bon Jovi question running along the bottom of this next video. Not along the bottom of the people in the video, but along the bottom of your MTV screen. And it will say, do you prefer John Bon Jovi's hair long or short? And you can phone us up on our phone poll. And you can also see how the rest of Europe is voting during this next video. This next video is, in fact, a live performance from Faith No More, who will be on with Pip Dan in Postmodern next week here on MTV, something to look forward to. We're hoping to get them into the studio as well. Stop traffic in London last night when a radio station announced that the band were to play a gig at London's Astoria Theatre. People gathered outside the venue to get their hands on one of the thousand tickets that were on sale. Best band in the world. Best band in the world. The best band in the whole world. Without a doubt. Main inspiration in life. This gig signalled the launch of the band's new album, Keep the Faith, which has already notched up pre-sales of 250,000 copies in Germany alone. In a set that lasted one hour and 40 minutes and featured all their own hits, the band opened with the Beatles classic, with a little help from my friends.
need someone to lose.